Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the mad cheese as always. I got a gameplay for you today. This is my first game uh, that I played in Madden 21. If you guys don't know, you can play Madden 21 right now. You just have to be a, a member for EA Access, ne newly named EA Play, uh, and you can be playing the game. They got a 10 hour demo for people uh, that have that subscription. I'm trying to stretch that 10 hours out. Most of the 10 hours I'm going to be spending on gameplay, and I'm recording it. So, this is the very first game that I played. I'm going to give you guys my first impressions of this game. Uh, from this gameplay here and I'm also going to give you guys things that I notice um, they're kind of important in Madden uh, 21 things are important to winning uh, other than that if you guys want to do me a favor hit the like button uh, if you're new to this channel please subscribe I'm trying to get this channel to at least 50k uh, by next month and hopefully 100k before the season's done so so likes comments all that stuff it all helps out so hook me up with that it takes two seconds and you're doing this channel a huge a huge solid so starting off the game I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the gun stack Y flex the gun empty stack i'll put a link in the description for a uh a video i just put out uh breaking down formations like this very explosive very glitchy uh formation first play though i see a lot of space and i switch to an inside run that's one of the first things i noticed that the inside runs in this game seem a lot easier than in years past i actually think inside runs might be easier than outside runs but it's still really kind of early to tell like i said these are my first impressions uh that's another one right there as you can see i get hit as i throw uh that's something that's very real this year uh when you Getting penalized, the quarterback getting penalized either from not uh, throwing the ball properly, if you're if you're stepping sideways or stepping backwards, or uh, you're, you don't have a, a clean look. I mean, there's a lot of ways that the quarterback gets penalized with throws, and you'll see that throughout this game. But that is definitely something that is very noticeable is the penalties in the throws from the quarterbacks. So on the defensive side, like I said, inside runs really seem to be, you know, look at these gaping holes. And I think part of this is the defenses. Uh, I didn't really find a good defense. And I, I've had people in my comment section already telling me it's really hard to find a good defense so far. I'm trying to take away all these gaps. And sometimes I have success, like right there. Gotcha, and then my opponent, you can see right there, he throws an interception. I do think part of that, once again, was a, a throw penalty. As you can see, he was kind of on his back foot when he did that. You kind of, you really have to throw this from a clean pocket, stepping forward, stuff like that. Here's another one. I was backing up. You can see how, I mean, it worked out because I get a little bit of luck. I mean, the ball jumped right into my next receiver's hands. What does that do? Did that blow your mind? That just happened. And how about that? Very first game and a very first series. And we get some crazy Madden BS. Uh, I mean, that's something that's never going to go anywhere. There's a couple instances in this game like that. Uh, and I'll point them out as they happen. But the Madden BS probably will never get fixed. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you. But very next series, I, this brings me to another point. Uh, the X-Factors in this particular year, I don't know if it's just Julio Jones, but the X-Factors feel even more overpowered. As you can see, Julio Jones, I mean, he's a great receiver. That could be that. Uh, but this guy's going to have a game pretty much exclusively just going at Julio, including this next play, which once again, to me, is a lot of BS. I mean, he's very clearly uh, jumping and falling backwards, and somehow he ends up falling forward, stealing the ball from me, mind you, and falling forward about five yards. I mean, just totally defying the laws of physics, and that's because these X factors are so overpowered. Hey, man, you got most. That was essentially it was bound to happen i mean that that ball and that receiver were like magnets and it was just it was going to happen one way or the other so you can see like i said the x factors in this game uh all that stuff it, it, i feel like they kicked it up a notch which is probably the exact opposite of what people wanted but only time will tell once again like i said it's just one game so going back to the fade out, like I said, I mean, it's really simple. All I'm doing is I'm putting the B route on a streak, and you're going to see how this Y route will get outside of cover three. The underneath stuff against cover three, which is stuff I put out a long time ago, a couple years ago they tried to patch, is really overpowered again. Uh, there is no throw penalty when it comes to those plays. So it's like they removed that. So that's something I'm probably going to be attacking throughout the year against cover threes is those uh, wheel route looks are, are really going to be effective. Uh, next play, once again, underneath another cover three. Same formation. I'm going this formation quite a bit i really like the stack formation we're going to stay in it for the majority of this drive i was going to go with the drive h wheel but like i said once again i mean they're just when you when you're throwing the ball well you're going to have these wide open run lanes because a lot of these defenses especially the dimes and stuff like that and the nickels and the normals and all that stuff they don't seem to have really good either run fits or just they just don't really have good gap assignments as you can see i mean it's really spread out next play once again i mean i'm just going right back at it and it's just bulldozing inside runs like i was saying to me inside runs feel like they're going to be more OP than outside runs this year. Well, once again, this is only one game, so time will tell. Uh, very next series, I mean, he still hit me with inside runs. Uh, part of the issue, I think, with my particular run defense is the Eagles have a 
horrific linebacking core, probably the worst in the entire game, uh, if not the entire league. Um, they just—they really don't have anybody at linebacker. Their best linebacker is actually a college safety. So that's part of the reason I think that I'm getting blown off the ball on the inside. I don't think that's necessarily the issue with the defensive line, though. Uh, I, think, I mean, you can see my defensive tackles. Some of the best defensive tackles in the game are on Philadelphia, and they're not really doing anything. So here you can see, like I said, I'm getting desperate, pinching that line heavy. Um, he hits me with the play action here, though. I actually just messed up on that user. Once again, like I said, not very good linebackers here. Not a lot of speed on the guy I was using. So I just kind of, you know, one little mistake will get me out of position. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's because uh, I'm, I'm pinching that he's throwing now, but you can see, I mean, he just goes up and, and gets it with uh, with Julio Jones. He gonna, he's going to ride Julio Jones this entire way down the field. And then on the very next play, I mean, part of it, too, I'm trying to set up my defense. I was stuck on a defensive tackle there. Not a lot you're going to be able to do uh, using a guy who's like a 60 speed player. Uh, very next series, I mean, I'm on offense. I'm just taking what he's giving me. I mean, there's really the underneath stuff you can see is having a lot of success. A, a lot of these uh, zone coverages seem to be more preoccupied. Uh, with deep and then you can see like I said I mean I was trying to uh, to play maker up the field see if I can make something happen but like I said those throw penalties are pretty serious you really have to throw the ball away I should have threw the ball away there god damn it making good decisions with the ball is going to be paramount this year so back to the inside runs like I said inside runs there's just huge lanes and then on the very next play, he's going to go back up to his X-Factor Julio, uh, which, you know, I mean, I was pressing there. That was my mistake, but still, uh, Julio is just a nightmare right now. Uh, and it's pretty much that guy's entire offense. So I got a few a few seconds left. Going back to the fade out play, uh, doing the exact same setup against cover three. And sure enough, this Y route, I mean, I could have probably caught and ran that, but I wanted to safe catch and get out of bounds. I try to hurry up and call another play, but it just goes right back to the play call screen. doesn't let me. And then runs off 25 seconds. <laughs> oh, come on! So I don't know what happened there. I mean, I thought that Y triangle would uh, do the hurry up, but it just didn't even give me that option. Maybe they changed that button. Like I said, this is my first game. I don't even have the, all the functions down. Hey, man, you got more. So down a touchdown, he has ball. Uh, and I mean, I'm in a position here where I really can't get down too much of a hole here. Uh, very next series, once again, Julio. I mean, he's just he's just running, ha wreaking havoc out here, which is pretty close to reality. I can't really hate on it, <laughs> but ultimately, I mean, he's just it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, they have you know the Falcons actually have a couple other pretty good players. Uh, he's not interested in sharing the ball with any of them. So very next series, he tries to hit me with a screen play. Uh, luckily, I was running a man because that's uh, that that'll shut that down pretty quick. And then on the next play, nope. we almost get. Get a pick i mean that was something that you know could have came my way he's going right back to julio forcing to julio gotcha, bitch. and then on the next play we actually do get the pick uh, as he's trying to get to julio one more time he could go all the way 95 yards so we get the pick six. I mean, to be fair, I really started making some adjustments. I'm going to go over those adjustments here in a minute. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, I really went to a point where I'm really running between two different extremes. I'm either sending all out man blitzes, man zeros, or I'm doing all out zones where I'm essentially zoning all my linebackers. And I'm going to show that play real quick because this is a play that I put out last year. It's probably the most effective defense that I've found so far. It's the cross three fire. I find that, I mean, I'm going to make a breakdown video of this, but I find that I can make this alignment that's a little bit uh, intimidating. As far as the run's concerned and it's also uh, very good at taking away throwing lanes so you can see right there i mean i basically break that up on the next play though i go with the cover four and in retrospect i really don't know what i was thinking i think i just didn't want to keep showing him that same look where i was clouding the middle but i mean realistically that would have been a better play there so we're going to be going in and out from that defense for the most part and the most success we're going to have at times is going to come from that defense so like i said i'll probably do a breakdown of that uh particular defense soon uh very next play that we get another pick gotcha bitch uh couldn't quite keep it inside and turn back up uh but you can see i mean that that's going our way as far as as far as coverage now so next play play action Actions, not a good idea as you can see right there it gets me sacked I mean I like that play but that was a bad idea I, I see he's sending a lot of man blitzes so I decided to go with the divide wheel the plan here was to motion this guy in kind of ultimately hitting the Y route on the outside because that's a good man beater but he was covering it so tight Break yourself, fool. and he's gone he could go all the way 
That's why the Eagles are going to be one of my favorite teams. They really address team speed in the offseason, and you can see how that pays off. So very next series, once again, you know, cloud, flooding that middle. Uh, almost worked out there. He barely gets a completion outside. Uh, on the very next play, once again, still trying to flood that middle. He has to go outside. I'll let him dink and dunk. I mean, it's the fourth quarter. I, I, as long as I'm not giving him any quick touchdowns, that's all that really matters. On the no. very next play, though, you can see, I mean, I get an animation here where I almost come up with a pick. I drive through the receiver and, all, and get a batted ball. The very next play... I do the exact same thing, what? and he scores a big touchdown. That's one of the things that people really have an issue with when it comes to Madden. Damn it! Why is it not more consistent? Why is it to the point where you can do the exact same thing on back-to-back -back plays, but you'll get completely different results? So next play, I'm going to throw it away because, like I said, you can't make those type of you know throws on the run unless you got an elite quarterback. I noticed he was running cover two man a lot. And a couple other plays that I played uh, were running a lot of cover two man. I really think cover two man might be one of the better defenses, but I can't say for sure yet until I get a little bit more time running it myself. Uh, but I really noticed that when I'm playing against uh, a lot of people that run cover two man against me, it has a good, it does a good job of stopping some of my deeper passing plays. So you can see right there on that play, I went ahead with a short passing play uh, nice zig routes always going to beat man coverage so very next play first and 10 uh, we get a cover two regular and I was almost going there I mean that was a play I tried to lead it up the field so I could catch and run but I, I just didn't quite have the right angle uh, but that's ultimately fine because I'm in the point now where I mean I just want to run out clock anyway so I have no interest in scoring I have no interest in even uh, making a big play I mean I'm just kind of messing around I hit him with an end around just to kind of make him uh, you know think about it and then ultimately the plan is just to run 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 make him call his timeouts and uh, kick a field goal and go home I don't want to have a chance of lag though I mean ultimately if I could score a touchdown here as long as I can wipe out all of his timeouts that's probably the ideal solution anyway so here he's down to, to you know no timeouts but it's third and one if he gets the stop and he almost does is my my running back Miles Sanders carries me forward for that first on the very next play finish him Fatality. I go ahead and I punch it in because, like I said, I mean, I don't want to take a chance of lag or, you know, anything like that costing me uh, a game winner. Uh, very next series of plays. If he wants to moss it, he's going to have to moss it on my cover four. Here I set up shop, turn around. <laughs> So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, if you guys want to see more gameplays, you like these type of videos, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button and I'll be sure to do more of them. And that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.